What do you do when you can't find your own white button-down shirt? You steal one from a boy. It's a little bit big, but it's gonna do. Hey you guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all having a fantastic week. As I'm getting older and diving deeper into the realm of adulting and responsibility, I find myself asking the question, where, where was, this was this in, in high school? High school? <laughs> more and more often. So I raised this question to a few other YouTubers in the community. What are certain things that you wish you had learned in high school that you feel would have benefited you so much better now that we are in our adult life? I asked these YouTubers to come up with a few of their top things they wish they had learned earlier and to share their opinions as to why it would have benefited them. All of their channels will be listed below in the description box. Be sure to check them out when you're done with this video. But without any further ado, here are the top things that I wish I had learned in high school. Number one should come as no surprise to anyone. It is taxes. I spent a lot of time figuring out if train A comes from the west and train B comes from the east at various speeds, when will they cross, which benefited me so well. I also very much enjoyed the Pythagorean theorem, which I use every day in my adult life. Why did no one think to teach people, even if we just did small, like hypothetical situations, how taxes are generally done, how they work, why, I know why we have to pay them, but how they generally work and what to expect in different situations because no one, no two people's situations are ever the same. Say in life, two things are certain, death, and taxes. You feel we would have learned a little bit more about the latter. Number two, and I did write this one down, learning how to write a strong and thorough cover letter, resume, or just basic interview skills. I had a thought about this the other day and I wrote out my exact thought before I lost it. I said, having the training and skills is one thing, and I'm not discrediting it, it is one thing but making a strong first impression and proving that you are the best candidate for whatever you're interviewing for is another very important aspect. You could be qualified as anybody. You could be the most qualified person, but if you cannot convince that person that you are qualified, chances of you losing that job to somebody else, they'll look pretty good that you're not gonna get that job. And side note, if you watch my video on how I saved $20,000 last year, I shared how one of my random side jobs that I got from high school students, they paid me to sit down and work on their interview skills. I never once advertised that I did this. They just liked communication and I happened to one student and word of mouth got me a few more, but you would not believe these kids want to learn this. They want to be better communicators. And in a world where we're all on our phones or the internet, I don't think this skill is going to get better. Could we have not worked this into our education system? Food for thought. Number three, and I'm gonna try to explain this to the best of my ability, was how to vote. And I know how you go down and you give your card and you vote and press all the buttons. I get all of that. But when I say how to vote, I mean a complete study behind, you know, Democratic parties, how to find a reputable resource to read about politics because the news just ain't cutting it. And the one that I find more important, how to weigh the pros and cons, regardless of political party, how to weigh the pros and cons of those parties, candidates, and what they stand for and what they want. So many people will say, well, I agree with such and such. He has a great idea. What do you mean he has a great idea? Oh, well, I heard it's more of he said, she said, and people are not putting in the time to do the research. Number four, I feel like this one hits home a little bit right now. I wrote how to buy a house or buy a car. <laughs> Basically, the general gist of making any major purchase would have been great. I hate to tell you this, but I was a substitute teacher and I had a senior home economics class and I was just talking to them at the end of the day. Um, a majority of them knew nothing about cash and checks. They knew nothing about home ownership. They knew nothing about mortgages. I actually asked them these questions because it was like 10 minutes till the bell rang and I was just curious, like, do they know more than I knew at 18? No, they did not. Majority of the answers were, oh, my parents take care of that. I don't, I don't have to worry about that. You're a senior in high school, you're gonna turn 18 in less than six months and you don't have to care about that? 
And number five, insurance. I know insurance comes in all different forms, but it would have been nice to just kind of get a general gist. Even if that gist was, it comes in general forms. If they just said what I had just said, and they touched on all the different kinds of insurance. Back to that home economics class, high school seniors believed that insurance only meant health insurance. They knew nothing about homeowner's insurance, car insurance, life insurance. Not, they believed that insurance was only for your health and that it was something that your parents could always give you. I even asked, what age do you think you have to be off mom and dad's insurance? I think over half the class said never. <laughs> Those are my five, but before I finish this video, I'm gonna jump onto my iPad. I asked this question on my Facebook page and I asked my friends, and of course I write the status and then shower and go to sleep so I can wake up to like 50, comments. I asked, adult friends, what are some things you look back on and think, why didn't I learn this in high school? Here are some things I got. Oh my gosh, there's so many. I'm going to read a few of them. Somebody wrote, how to balance a checkbook, do taxes, fix a flat tire. Someone wrote, mortgage taxes insurance. One of my friends wrote, interviewing skills. What am I? Uh, how to cook. Yes, thank you. That would have been great. Finances, someone wrote basic adulting. How to balance work and play. Yes, that's very important. Oh, this one. How interest works and how long it will take to pay back student loans despite a seemingly good salary. Oh, one of my teacher friends wrote, the sad thing is that I look at so many things that are not taught in school that I learned. Where is home economics? These kids need to learn how to cook and take care of themselves. Someone wrote budgeting, taxes, how to cut your own hair. That would have been very awkward to teach in high school. Taxes, taxes, taxes. More about science and history, compound interest. So those are what people on Facebook wished they had learned in high school. Once again, this is a collaboration video, so make sure to check out all the channels. Their links will be listed below. Also, leave me a comment of what you wish you had learned in high school. If you like these kind of videos, be sure to give them a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, click the little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.